What's up everyone? This is Thomas Donahue from the Driver's Apex. That is new. That's from the final stage resistor on an E46 M3. You gotta go up under the glove box. Um, and I stub my forehead on some metal thing or whatever. So that's fresh. I didn't film that video. There's so many videos out there. I didn't want to clog up the, uh, the internet with just another video. It's super easy to do. If anyone has questions, I could totally show you how to do it. Um, super easy. We're going to change spark plugs. I want to see what spark plugs look like on this car after 57,000 miles. I acquired the car with about 55,000. We've got another 2,000 miles on the car. We're going to do an oil change, send it out to speed diagnostics. We're going to see what the rod bearings look like. Then we're going to switch over to Liquamoly from the Castrol. Um, I got the MIO S2 additive as well. What I think I might do is a basic oil change. Then I've got the Liquamoly um, engine flush, flush it, then go ahead and put in, um, the additive, stuff like that. So I'm going to switch the camera around, show you what we're working with. Again, there's a bazillion videos on how to change out spark plugs, stuff like that. Um, but I just want to see what it's like. Does it make a difference in the way that it drives? I know it stumbled a couple times. I know we're right around that 60,000 mile interval. So I'm hopeful. All right. All right, so this is what we're working with. It's super easy. Just these three little springs, pop them out. I've already got this kind of somewhat undone. Um, we've got these T30s back there. We'll pull the strut bar out. We'll disconnect this, move that over, and then get this ready to pull here. And then we can take a look and see what these spark plugs look like. So I'm gonna do this real quick. Maybe I'll time lapse it just for fun, stuff like that. Uh, but I want to see what these spark plugs look like. out I don't know that it looks too too bad definitely I think it's probably original and then we've got new spark plugs so we're gonna I'm gonna flip the camera around I think it'll be a little bit easier instead of up to my skin um, and then we'll pull out a new spark plug and see what it looks like all right so we've got new spark plugs right here I don't know where I ordered these from maybe FCP or, or something like that Let's see what these bad boys look like. I'm gonna be careful pulling it out, I don't damage it. That would suck. Oh yeah, that's that's a big difference. Good gosh. Yep, night and day difference. I was looking here, they're the same numbers. In this car, I'm putting everything BMW. I'm not, I'm not messing around, that kind of stuff. It's just good for if I do decide to sell it, which I don't intend to anytime soon. All right, so the car is put back together. As you can see, everything's torqued. I think it's 18 foot pounds for strut tower brace, 22 for the spark plugs. Um, I think that's all that really needs to be torqued. So. Now we got to start it, so let's go ahead and start it. I guess that's a success. All right, there you have it. Super easy job. As you saw, the spark plugs definitely, they looked original on a 57,000 mile E46. So 20 year old spark plugs on a 2002 M3. I'm glad I changed them. 
I'm gonna be really curious to see how it drives. So we'll probably drive it real quick and then we'll just close this video out. Yeah, I think spark plugs are definitely a hit. Definitely a little bit more uh, crisper uh, throttle response. So uh, 60,000 mile plugs, just get them changed. I think the car definitely feels a little quicker. It just feels, I don't know, the idle's better. The throttle just seems a little bit more responsive. I doubt it's any faster. It just feels better. So um, just get them done. All right, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments, you want to know anything, just put them in the comment section. All right, guys.